I was really stuck in this, this idea of, do I work with a tech-specific M&A firm, or do I work with a firm that works with all kinds of businesses like a Woodbridge? You know, the, the M&A firm I was speaking with in technology, by their own admission said, we're gonna probably reach out to 60 to 80 companies we feel good about. And here's Woodbridge on the other side saying, you know, by the time all is said and done, we're probably reaching out to two to 3,000 companies. It doesn't matter if they know tech or don't know tech. You want somebody who's got that sharp skill set of being able to negotiate, being able to, to work through the business details of that process. And at that point, the, the industry, I think, is, is somewhat irrelevant. The video that Woodbridge created, I think, was the fundamental part of this marketing process. So having this video that was professionally produced, that walked through everything from who the business is, to what are the prospects, to um, what are some of the opportunities, to what's your customer base like, all those different things that were answered in this short two to three minute video, that was, I think, a, a hugely valuable part of the process. Every time I had a question, a comment, uh, and I had a lot of them, I was able to reach somebody immediately. They'd give me their cell phones. I'd talk to people after hours on their cell phone or on weekends several times. Um, and sometimes it was just to, to kind of assure me that things were on the right track or on the right path. But I never had a problem reaching someone when I had a question or comment or concern. Woodbridge constantly pushed on these buyers and these interested parties to again, raise the ante, to, to really bring their very best to the table uh, based on what I wanted to see as a business owner. We went in with a number that I would have been very happy with um, and, and we got 50% uh, more than that number. I was ready to, to accept then and there. Derek said, no, we're not gonna accept that. Let's go back and ask for, for X. So even down to the, the final minutes, um, they're still thinking strategically and still thinking uh, in a way that, that they wanna get the best possible value for you in every way they can. It, it was highly important to have a, a preset closing date. Um, and if you, you know, to told me six months ago I'd be sitting, sitting down and saying we finished this thing in 169 days, I would have been uh, overwhelmed by, by those results. We really did find a buyer that I think is going to come in and, and uh, continue that legacy and build more exciting opportunities for our customers, for our team, uh, but I think there are great things in store for Stretch. Woodbridge has, has played such a big role in, in transforming my life and more importantly what my life's going to look like over the next five to ten years. I'm excited to to kind of be the CEO more of my family now than just the CEO of my business.